guys, uh, me and my girl here, Daisy girl, we're heading down here to, well, do a few things. I got the valve body rebuilt for the champion grader. I got the Charlene motor resealed for the steering motor. And then I've got a pressure switch, 15 PSI pressure switch for the transmission that was leaking really bad. That's actually what caused all the problems in the woods last year with that, with that old grader, was that switch leaking and nobody, Basically, the sight glass is clouded over and faded to where I don't even think a lot of guys know there's even a sight glass there on the transmission, and they just ran it low on oil. And they actually, the transmission is what feeds the clutch housing on those graders. So, anyway, we're going to go re get all that stuff together. Then I've got the oil pump, the D8K. i got to run by uh, the store in town here and get a little bit of 30 weight powertrain oil to prime the pump. And uh, I got filters for it. I got to find a suction screen on there too. I'd like to clean that suction screen, make sure it's clean. And then uh, hopefully we'll fire it up and see if she moves. So anyways, I'll be with you when I get down there. Well guys, here we are at the D8K again. Let's see here, what would I need to do first? I need to get the pump out. Let's uh, get a little oil in it and turn it. I put those flanges on it yesterday. Got some filters and O-rings, cat for the for the uh, hydraulic tra or the <laughs> transmission. I'm gonna need two hands to get that heavy bastard out of there. I got some 30 weight powertrain oil. Okay, let's pour. Five gallon bucket. I wonder if I got an empty one gallon bucket somewhere. I'd like to pour some oil on this suction side of this pump and just turn it until I get oil coming out the discharge port. Might be messy, but it might be feel better that everything's wet and lubed. Well, I was thinking I had an empty antifreeze jug here somewhere, but don't I gotta improvise that'll suffice to turn the shaft Out and I'm turn by hand. All right, a little bit of oil starting to come out the discharge port. Of course, a lot of it's going to run right back out of there when we turn it upside down to put it back on. So. There's nowhere to put that thing in there. <clears throat> I'm sure somebody will snivel about it. Ugh. I'm gonna pull this suction screen here. <coughs> and then uh, see if it's all plugged up full of shit and the filter's in here. Filter on the pressure side. Uh. Pushy, 
to come off. She went on a lot easier than she come off. plug out of here and fill this thing clear full of oil before I start it to make sure these filters and stuff are full of oil I got a five gallon bucket of 30 turn uh, 30 weight so this bolt back here is kind of fun Davey. Uh oh, we shook the camera a little much. I'm gonna get her ass chewed. I'll try not to say the F word every other word. Come on, Daisy. Did you hurt your foot, sweetheart? Come here. Oh, you gotta. Oh, I see it. I see it. Come here. Let me get that out of your foot. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here. Oh, I know those hurt. Okay, hon. I know they're pretty bad around here. They're pretty bad around here. You okay, sweetheart? My big vicious pit bull. <laughs> She's scared of her own shadow. I don't want a mean dog anyhow, so. Preferably a short socket. Oh, great, I can get a rag. I sit there and lay in that oil. Oh, my jump drawer. Oh, we guys. If we get this thing moving, I'm going to walk over there and show you an old D7F, too, that's got a new undercarriage in it. You know, but I don't know. Before I started working with this guy, I mean, he had a guy tell him that this transmission was bad. And you obviously seen that the charge, the transfer pump was bad, or the transmission pump. So I'm not so sure that that old D7F doesn't have a minor problem, too. You know, they said the torque converter went out on it. I mean... Should be pretty easy to see if the torque converter went out if you start the cat up and the damn thing is not turning the drive line and obviously the torque converter is bad or it's not getting any oil. A couple of dowels on this so that probably has to be a little bit careful that he's getting her seated upright and doesn't break the housing because it didn't get on the dowel. Short extension over there. stuff down the belly pan today after that I made the last video I spent about 30 minutes trying to fish my other stuff out of there I got it all out took a little bit
the fun part of getting all this crap back on here. I don't think it'll be too bad. Let's get a little penetrating oil on these old rusty bolts here. Maybe they'll go in a little easier for us. I've worked on a lot of these feedlots, you know, over the years, and and the whole anisees thing. Used to work in a truck shop, too. That's where I kind of started mechanic, and after I got out of the Navy, it was truck shops, and and cow haulers would come in, and them cow haulers would we'd have to do slack adjusters or anything back there on the trailer on the suspension or anything we would clean the thread i mean we clean our s cams up all up real nice and clean and anna sees the hell i'm with the expensive copper you know 50 dollar bottle shit anna sees the next winter or the next year it'd come in for something else and we'd have to pull that thing off and it was like it was never there that cow piss and cow shit is the best adhesive in the world and you would have to get the torch back out and heat it all up and to uh to to uh you know to get it apart i mean it just was like you never even put the stuff on there and i just to be honest with you on that kind of stuff i just kind of quit wasting my time and my money with this 50 dollar bottle of anise stuff that didn't work on that now on a on a highway truck yeah it works pretty good i do use anise's for certain things but i've just over the years with the experience i know there's there's other things, it's just a waste of time. You don't do any good. I don't know if I got the right bolt in there. Is there a shorter one in that? Not really, huh? That came out of the old pump. I don't need that. Well, it's got to be one of these. They're all about the same length, it looks like to me. That one's a touch shorter right there. What are you doing there, hon? Decided to get back in the truck, huh? She's kind of goofy. She... She don't go very far or nothing or wander off. Now, Duke's here. Duke's like her guardian. And if Duke's here, she ventures out with Duke. But if she's by herself, she don't, in a strange place, she won't do it. I've had way better luck over the years with female dogs than I have with male dogs. Like trouble. I mean, I've always lost male dogs for some reason. Joe, I had him for four years, and he was a hell of a dog. And the strict nine got him because he, because he, you know, he, he was his own worst enemy. He was always getting into something. He loved chasing stuff down, and he loved chasing rock chucks and killing rock chucks. He loved that. I mean, and he was pretty merciless when he got a hold of a rock chuck. It was over with pretty damn quick for the poor rock chuck. Can I get my hand underneath, maybe? And... There we go. All right. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, this is... Fun, fun, fun. Be nice if I could get these threaded up most of the way by hand. I wasn't fighting with the men wrenches trying to get in there. I remember that back bolt was a real dandy of a time there getting that one. Tighten her backed off. You I mean you really can't even hardly get your fingers in there to do anything with it. Sorry about the, the head nodding. I'd like to see you set a tripod up in here and how you're gonna see me thing. This is the only way you're gonna see it is on the head of, is on my head. You may not be seeing much, but you got something. I mean, let's grab this, uh, let's grab this short little open-ended 
angled 916s, that might work for us. Are for right there, things like that. You just can't get on them, they come in pretty handy. One of my viewers, a good friend, uh, actually, over the course of this YouTube experience, his name's Bill Knack. He's a heavy equipment mechanic in uh, upstate New York. Good guy, no good guy. I've talked to him on the song phone several times. full of oil too. Alright. Alright guys, I'm getting there. discharge line on remember it was real fun too getting it loose it's actually been going together better than it came apart ah, I might have screwed up there I hope I can get that back down in there now hmm might have a problem Houston Have a problem here, Houston. Man, that's a four wire hose. It acts like it's so damn stiff. I can't bend it. Well, well, well. What are we going to do here? Take it loose back here. I think I'm going to pull it loose back here, guys, and pull it back. I ain't taking that back off. Well, we pretty well got the pump installed. Let's see if we pull this off and find a bunch of metal and everything in here. I guess it's kept. Spent quite a few years in a rock pit, so gravel pit. Just pushing dirt all day long. Hopefully they're the right ones. Look at that shit, guys. That is probably why the pump failed. It probably got hot. Because nobody does maintenance on anything. This son of a bitch is plugged up solid. I bet I couldn't get any oil to it. Now let's get it all cleaned up. I'm gonna get this screen cleaned up best I can. Brake clean, blowing it out, and then we gotta pull this off. We'll see how screwed up that is. Maintenance, man, maintenance. That's what kills everything. People don't maintain anything, you know. 
They just don't maintain anything. They just run them till they drop. It just amazes me. And then they bitch about stuff when it cost them a lot of money to fix something because they never changed filters and suction screens and check things out, you know. I mean, there's a little bit of metal on this magnet, but I don't know why you got a transmission. This cat's got like 10,000, 12,000 hours on it. I mean, you're going to have some, just some gear mesh and stuff like that. There's always, a little, it's like a rear end when you pull a rear end apart. There's always going to be a little metal in them. But you mean, I don't see any chunks, so I'm not real worried right now, but uh, we'll see what it does here. These slide off of here. I thought maybe this part here popped off and you could slide them off of there. Doesn't unthread or anything. Am I gonna have to get the sys program out? I guess we'll just clean them up best we can. The inside is what I can't get clean. And let's see right there. Well, Got a lot of cleaning here to do, guys, before we even try to fire this thing up. I don't want to ruin that new pump. All right, well, can't really feel that full of oil. It's just going to run right back down into the transmission, so that doesn't do a whole lot of good. But we can put a new seal here. Figure out which one Travis got me. Hey, hon. I think it's going to be one of these big bastards right here. That would be it right there. That's, that's a good deal. At least we can get our sealed up real good. All right, I cleaned them up the best I could. It needs a new suction screen is what it needs. It needs to be replaced. And that magnet I cleaned and cleaned and cleaned on it. I, I got a lot of it off, but it needs to be replaced too. At least you can see through this thing now. You can even see through. That's about the only way that it can go together, really. Alright. There's only two lock washers, one of them had a lock nut, so... Suck her down and we'll pull the discharge filter off. I'm sure it's not going to be very pretty either. I don't know if some of these guys just got so much money that they can't. I don't know. I don't understand it. I don't understand the not maintaining stuff. I just don't get it. I guess the guys get busy and just don't do that. Well, that's not good. Why is that not wanting to come off of there? Well, that's not good either. Now I've got a screwdriver or something to get under it and pop it out of there and get another socket here. That's not good either. Now we gotta fix that. Let's see if I can find another nut, because that one there is obviously not any good. I think the threads still look pretty good on the stud there, but just wasn't enough with that washer on there. That's why they didn't have a washer on there. That would be the reason right there. 
Now it's actually threading on now, so let's just go real easy with it here. That's why they didn't have a washer on that one. Alright, they're all tight. So I'm going to put this hose back on here. Oh, what is that? 11 sixteenths, three quarter. I'm going to pull that off. Oh! drive and zip them off. Can't be much worse on that, you know. We had to have made something better there. And there's no excuse. It's easy to get to. I mean, that cat made these very accessible, you know. And there's no reason not to check that stuff on on an interval, you know. Maybe every 500 or 1,000 hours, check those suction screen. I mean. The discharge filter, I would probably do it probably every 250, nah, I don't think 250, probably 500, you know. Hammer time. or something to get up under there. Didn't I just have one out? I would say that the powertrain oil needs to be dumped on it very badly. Okay, that's going to go on the top. Let's just roll it here. There must be an updated filter for this. And you're going to have this little plate here. And the other filter. Should suffice. All right, let's go put her back in there. Messy taking these trans filters out. Yeah, 
Yeah, transmission oil is pretty bad looking stuff, man. guys well, I should be back here pretty shortly I'm gonna tighten these bolts up and get my socket off that one and clean these housings up and get all the tools off and then and uh, fire it up well let's see what happens guys <sighs> boy this old steering wire is there something I can do to make that throttle a little easier to operate I don't think it's gonna be out here. I think it's in the cab is where it's it might be right there actually. And we'll see what happens here. Let's fucking see if the old glow plugs. She's drawing on the amp gauge, so... It's not that cold, so... I'm gonna dump some more oil in the hydraulic tank. And for all the guys that kept commenting saying, check your oil under the seat. And one guy said, duh. Well, duh, that's for a direct drive transmission. This is a power shift. It's in the battery box. Maybe they were in here on the power shifts for the older serial numbers, but I know on the 77V, they're in the battery box. So it says two gallons add if you're at the line, and we're, shit, it's probably five gallons low. These guys, man, geez, well, maybe it leaked out. I can't cuss them too much. Let me dump five gallon, that five gallon bucket of 30 weight in here, and we'll give her a try again. Well, we dumped another five gallon bucket of powertrain oil in the transmission. And about a gallon shy now, which will be okay for what we're doing here. And then another five gallons in a hydraulic tank, but these rod seals are just puking oil out of them. So let's try it again. Let's see if we can get the blade and the ripper to raise up. All right. I shouldn't have to go plug it now, but let's see what happens here. I guess I need to go plug it. All right. Hopefully it didn't lose prime or something. It's smoking. White smoke. I think it just needs to... You've been a set in a long time. Let's 
So above 60 degrees Fahrenheit and on. 60 to 32, one minute.
Yeah. Hey, look at there. There's my wrench I lost. I couldn't find the other day. I had one, one wrench that I knew I was missing. There it is. Cool. Good deal. Now everything's accounted for. Well, guys, she's a runner. She's a mover. She's a mover and a taker and a real-life heartbreaker. Yeah. That is less than me desired, I'll tell you that. Ripper tilt. I made a little mess. I thought I'd back drag it and try to clean it up a little bit. Well, I guess, guys, I, I'm going to put the four plate back in it. Um, pull the batteries out of it so the tweakers don't get it. And uh, call the owner and say, hey, get the low boy. Let's get her out of here. You know, this thing was here originally. They, I think they had these piles of dirt right here. They were going to smooth them out or something here. Somebody dumped here and then it quit them. And the owner said, oh, you know, because some guy came and looked at it that was supposedly a mechanic and told him the transmission was screwed up in it. That's what the guy told him. Transmission's no good. And, uh course you you guys you can see it's not it all three speeds in reverse and all three speeds in forward work and she turns she needs an undercarriage pretty bad but other than that though guys pretty happy i got her moving hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching well i forgot i drove the cat over here to park it over here and i forgot all about showing you guys this f this f he put new New rails and new pads, everything, drive sprockets, or like, it's very low hours on it. Got a 7K winch on it. And they said the torque converter went bad. It runs. I haven't looked at it, but they said it, you know, engine runs fine. I mean, I don't think that it would take much to. I think, I think, I think the guy gives up on stuff a little too easy to me. But these old 7Fs were tough old cats, man. I, I really like these Fs. The E's and the Fs I really liked. The Fs I liked better because they were direct start. But no, it's a, it's not a bad looking old cat. Really, you get it cleaned up. If he wants to just, I think he wants to part it out, guys. I don't know, I'm about halfway talking. Thinking I'd like to just see if he'd just trade some work for it or something. This is snake country down here, so the guy's got to be careful what he's doing down here. You don't really have that problem up there. Yeah, but... They said the torque converter went bad in it, and then they gave up on it. I mean, why would you do that after you just spent that much money getting the undercarriage all fixed? Why would you just quit? I don't understand that. But I guess that's why guys have a lot of money, and I don't have any money. You know how to make money, and I don't. I'm a pretty decent and fair mechanic, but I'm a pretty shitty business guy. What's the hour meter say on this old girl? Am I looking in the wrong spot? I don't see... Maybe it's under the hood there, huh? By the... Probably on the other side by the fuel pump or something like the old cats used to be, but... Don't know for sure. Now let's go look. I think that that one there is going to probably be... Well, shoot, I don't want to mess around and bolt that. Anyways. If anybody wants parts, I guess, let me know. For a 7F, undercarriage, winch, engine, let me know. There's a blade cylinder right there. They pulled the blade off. Both blade cylinders are laying right there. Hell, you could, if you needed a ROPS, there's a ROPS for one. So, anyways, thought I'd throw that in there.